This logo animation is inspired by Asus ROG Gaming PC. Hello everyone, welcome to my After Effects tutorial. Today we are going to create this. Open After Effects, go to the project panel, create a new composition, change the composition name to make render. Preset HDTV with 1920 and height 1080 pixels. Change the frame rate to 29.97 and set the duration time to 10 seconds and click OK. Now let's start creating a new background. To do that, right click here, new, choose solid, change the solid name to BG. Make composition size and click OK. Now go to the effects and preset. Type ramp. Choose gradient ramp. Drag and drop on the solid layer which we have created earlier. Now just change ramp shape linear to radial ramp. If you don't find this point, make sure to select the gradient ramp effect and change the points to something like this. Now you can change the start color to darkish purple, something like very very darkish. And also change the end color to black. Now go to the project panel, again create a new composition, call this line animation. Keep as same settings and click OK. And again create a new solid. To do that, right click here, new, choose solid. Change the solid name to fractal. Make composition size and click OK. Now go to the effects and preset. Type fractal noise. Drag and draw on the solid layer which we have created earlier. And adjust a few settings. Now change the noise type to linear. And also change the contrast to 300 and brightness to minus 70. Now open the transform, uncheck the uniform scale, select the scale width, change the scale width amount to 10,000. And also change the scale height to 15. Change the complexity amount to 20. Open sub settings. Make sure to come at the first frame. Create a keyframe on sub rotation and the evolution. Go at once again. Change the evolution all to 138.4. And also change the sub rotation to 29.4. Now select all keyframes, press F9 to easy ease. No need to change the graph value or not. Let's give some color to the fractal noise. To do that, go to the effects of reset, type tint, drag and draw on the layer. Now you can change the tint color to red. Now select the layer, go to the toolbar menu, select the rectangle shape. Now draw a shape to something like this. Now go to the main window. Again go to the project panel. Select the line animation. Drag and draw on the timeline. If we preview this, the black ink effect, it's very disturbing. To solve this, change the blending modes to screen. If you don't find this modes, simply just select the line animation layer, press F4 to open modes. If you don't find this modes, right click here, columns, choose modes. Now you can change the blending modes to screen. And also don't forget to drag the work area.
Now select the line animation to here. Press R to open rotation property. Change the rotation about to 45 degrees. Let's start creating a logo animation. To do that, create a new composition. Call this logo. Make composition size. I click OK. And also I'll give you this free project file download link only in my Patreon page. Make sure to like, share, subscribe to my YouTube channel and don't forget to follow my Patreon page and Instagram page also. After downloading this project file, you'll find this PNG format of logo. Just drag and drop on the timeline. Now select the layer, press S to open scale property, change the scale out to 25. Now go to the toolbar menu, select the pen tool. Stroke to solid color. Change the fill to null. Make sure to switch on the Titan shape action. Draw a line shape to something like this. Now select the layer. Press R to open rotation property. Change the rotation amount to 45 degrees. This is for reference only. Later on we can delete this. Now make sure to lock the shape layer. Again select the logo. Go to the toolbar menu. Again, select the pen tool. Create a line mask to something like this. Now, select the logo. Hold Ctrl or Command D to duplicate the layer. Select the bottom layer. Press N to open the mask property. Invert the mask to something like this. Let's give some simple animation for the logo layer. To do that, select both logos. Press P, Shift T, open position and scale property. Make sure to come back the first frame. Create a keyframe. And again, go at one second. Again, create a keyframe. Now we can change the scale on to 12 or something. Now come at the first frame and change the X, Y position to something like this. Perfect. Now select all keyframes, press F9 to easy ease. Open the graph editor, change the graph value to something like this. Now click the spacebar button to preview. Actually, I want this animation style a very quick and crispy. Maybe I will select the end keyframes, or I'll just move the keyframe actor, maybe something like 15 frames. Yeah, perfect. Now let's give some glow effect for the logo. To do that, first you have to create a new adjustment area. Call this glow. Now go to the effects and reset. Type glow. Drag and drop on the adjustment layer which we have created now. Change the glow radius around 150 maybe. And also change the glow intensity to 2. Now come at 5 frame. Create a keyframe on glow radius and again go at one second. Change the glow radius to zero. Select both keyframes, press F9 to easy ease, open the graph editor and tweak a little bit the graph value to something like this. Now select the glow adjustment layer, hold Ctrl or Command D to duplicate the layer, select the top layer, press U to open the keyframe properties, edit the keyframe by clicking here. Now change the glow threshold to 100, change the glow radius to 0 and also change the glow intensity to 0. Now go to the main render, also go to the project panel, 
select the logo composition, drag and drop on the timeline. And finally, let's start creating a logo slice effect, which you have seen on introduction. To do that, first create a new solid layer, call this Saber. Make composition size and click OK. Now go to the effects and preset, type Saber, drag and drop on the solid layer, which we have created now, and adjust a few settings. Change the glow color to maximum red. You can keep any color as you like and also change the glow intensity to 35% and change the core size to 2.5. If you don't find this core start and core end points, make sure to select the saber effect. Before changing the core start and end position, first go to the logo composition, select the shape player. Copy the shape layer and delete it, which we have created earlier for the reference. Now go to the main render, press Ctrl on Command V to paste it and lock the link. Now you can change the end code to something like this. Now create a keyframe on code start and code size. Select the layer, press U to reveal the keyframe. Go at somewhere like 15 frames maybe. Again create a keyframe. Come back the first frame. Now change the go start position somewhere like here. Now at the end keyframe, change the core size to 0. Select all keyframes, press F9 easy ease, open the graph editor, change the graph value to something like this. Adjust the keyframe until you're satisfied. I am going to fast forward this. Make sure to print the layer. And also I am going to change the blending mode to screen. Now select the layer, move the layer few frames forward, match the slice effect until you satisfy. And finally, let's give some masking animation. To do that, first select the line animation layer. Go to the toolbar menu. Select the rectangle shape. Mask the shape to something like this. Now select the layer. Press M to open mask property. Create a keyframe. Go forward at 15 frames. Again create a keyframe. Now come back first frame. Press V button for the selection. Select the mask points and change the mask to something like this as shown on the composition. And again select the line animation layer, press S to open mask feather, change the mask feather out to 300, perfect. And finally, 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 this is the final one. Let's start creating a shake effect for the line animation. To do that, first, first, we have to create a new null object. To do that, right click here, new null object. Change the null name to shake effect. Select the shake effect. Press P to open position property. Create a keyframe. Go forward at 15 frames and change the little bit amount of Y position. Again, go at one second and again just change a little bit amount of uh, Y position. Perfect. Now at the stopwatch icon, hold Alt. Click on the stopwatch icon to open expression. 
Type the expression pollen. Wiggle, open parenthesis, 40, commas, 30, and close parenthesis. And hit the spacebar button to review the entire project. I hope you all enjoyed my After Effects tutorial. Thank you for spending a valuable time. And also I am getting very less views and very less support on this YouTube channel. Kindly make sure to like, share, subscribe to my YouTube channel. And also don't forget to follow my Patreon page and the Instagram page also. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. See you on next video. Stay here. Thank you.